where they've got their eyes set on big goals to score in top eight. But we really filled out in the sprints, and we know that sprints win championships. So that's been a big focus for us is developing our sprint corral and having a lot of people that can swim relays. So that way you're not overloading somebody over that four-day meet. But yeah, they're awesome. They're great. I love them. I, I don't think I'd ever be able to coach normal people again. Like I said earlier, these kids are super locked in. They're super disciplined and and they give me a, a very enjoyable coaching life and experience. What about foreign athletes or people from outside the United States? Are they able to go to VMI? We have international audience. Yeah, to have a lot of international, a lot of international interests, and we have a lot of different pathways to get international athletes here. And from an academic side, from a school side, from a military side, that's all super easy. Usually the difficult thing is money. We're, we're not a fully funded program. Um, our guys are at about one and a half scholarships. So that's pretty low when you can have 10, right? So usually it's money. We talked to plenty of domestic athletes too that that need a really sizable chunk of athletic aid, and we just can't really do that. So that's one of the difficulties that we've had in just consistently attracting them. We have a lot of interest, almost probably every day. Someone's reaching out and wants to be a part of our program and wants the academic experience from VMI. But we've been working really hard on increasing our scholarships and being able to offer this experience more broadly. And tell us about your meat philosophy. You got some powerful teams around driving distance. Do you go up against those teams? How do you try to balance yes. Yes, throughout the, the college season? I want to put my athletes in front of teams where we have a shot and where we can get better. So that might not necessarily mean going to swim Virginia Tech, but it might mean taking a small group to one of their invites and letting them race with them. And that way, that group can come back and say, yeah, I was there. I was with them. I was in the heat. I was with that Power 4 program. Same thing, we've got the Cavalier invite on our schedule this year. We'll do the same thing. We'll take a small group to UVA to race. And we also have a couple guys that will be going to US Open. I guess with that, I try to dose it in a way that's healthy. We don't have a super broad, in terms of ability, team they're all pretty similar but we if a guy's going to go 47 in season 100 free like it doesn't really need to be next to a guy that's 43 it's not useful for them but i try to really seek out meets there's some meets we won't win because that team's a lot better they're a lot deeper they're farther in front of us but i mix it between meets that we have a shot at meets i know that we can win and then meets that are going to make us better and then look for opportunities with things like going to virginia tech's invite last year or going to the cavalier invite it had a baseline giving people an opportunity to race before conference but it's also allowing people to get in a position that could maybe help them build confidence in themselves and just not being afraid to race we had a guy that was doing fly next to yusuf ramadan last year and he's a defending ncaa champion and Hey, you race next to him. There's no one else to be afraid of, right? If you raced against the champ. And that developed a lot of confidence in him, just stepping on the block and helping him stay in his lane and, and stay focused. And so that's how we do it. I'm not afraid to suit up during a meet. Honestly, I think all teams should suit up for every dual meet. You're going to race in it at the end of the year. Football players don't not wear their cleats and pads to a football game. So like we should wear our cleats and pads. Uh, we don't always do that, but um, I love to race, and I think racing is training, and it's a, a great way to know where you're at and where your athletes are and to build confidence. Thanks for all you do for our world of sport, your community, and the youth of tomorrow. We hope to see you again at wafsu.org and the International Swim Coaches Association event soon. Stay tuned for new exciting services coming at a go.lap.red. Stay safe.